Peace and love, y'all. It's your brother Avis, and we're back with another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays. This is episode 14, y'all. So, as we coming in, everyone's coming in. Mopapta, the topics for today in the comments. And we're gonna chill out. But y'all tell me, what's your legacy? Legacy. My legacy gon' live on legacy. My legacy gon' live on legacy. My legacy gon' live on right now. Ain't no better time than right now. Shout out to Riley B. St. Louis in the building. Let's do that. So for today, y'all, we're going to be getting into the topics of current events. So what still is going on currently, we're going to be getting into talking about generational wealth. And lastly, we're going to be getting on and talking about what does leaving a legacy mean. So those are going to be the topics for today. But I'm just letting everyone get in here, get started. Before we get started, but hope all is well with everybody, even those who watch after. I hope all is well with you. Peace and love, and health as well as well. So now let's get started with the show song and we're gonna get into it. Yeah, um, um, peace to anybody. To, uh, what's up, Freddie? What's up, brother? How you doing? What's the word? Because guess what? Check it out. What's the word, y'all? What's the word? 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 Once again, y'all, it's your brother Avis, and we're back with What's the Word Wednesdays, and this is episode 14. 14, y'all. We keeping them moving. So with that, today... The topics we're going to be touching on, once again, always speaking on current events so we know what is going on around us. Then we're going to get into the topic of generational wealth. And after generational wealth, we're going to tie that in with what does leaving a legacy mean. And those are all the show topics for today. If there's any other ones y'all want to throw in the comments, please do throw them in the comments. More than welcome to continue on those because it's just not only those three. This is a community back and forth talk, so more than welcome to throw questions in. But with that being said, let's get to the first topic. So, current events wise, a few main things that I've been hearing about and at least had an eye on, it's mostly been a lot more, of course, when it comes to voting and the very big push for not only voting but once again i believe tonight there's already another presidential debate going on right now so of course we're getting close to elections so that's mostly what we're going to be seeing a lot through the timeline whether there is you know constant promotions of either side which at this point is only either this or that 
it, there is in betweens, but how truthfully do we get to see the other in betweens? So, like the independents and all the other folks that are on the ballot, it's usually just only the two playing stars, which are on the same team, at least in my perspective. But we're gonna be hearing a lot more of that. So, mostly right now, it's been really to push on on voting and just the upcoming election, which I believe is November 3rd. So, y'all do what y'all will with that. The other thing besides the presidential debates election and all that going on, there was an protest as well as, I want to say, not an outbreak, but basically something went down in Nigeria that ended up causing a lot of people to lose their lives and multiple protests to go on where Nigeria and especially I believe around in the not Lagos but it's one of the L's I can't remember off the top of my head that they've had to end up giving out curfews 24 hour curfew at least as of right now I haven't got to see any more updates this was what I recently saw yesterday and for the most part, what was going on was the the president of the of Nigeria, if I'm you know speaking correctly. They um a lot of the people were pushing to get this um special anti robbery um unit. There's a special unit that has been doing a lot of corrupt things to not only the people that is there, but also to just a lot of just folks within the surrounding towns and they were calling for the president to disband them what's up chris and a lot of the talk around that ended up causing that riot in the different you know shootings and people you know not you know but had that whole the riots going on so right now you know sending good energy out to nigeria as they get that situation done and get it fixed out but much love so between that honestly there's nothing there's not much else i've been keeping in rotation when it comes to news wise it's only just really more talk about the election and then like i said this update that i saw about nigeria um there's nothing nothing else i've seen but if there is for y'all if there's anything else y'all have seen please throw in the comments i know there's a lot going on in the world so i know it's just not only those updates but that's at least what I've been keeping on most most of my time right now I've been reading I've been able to do some tutoring I've been making up my own type of schedules to keep me focused when it comes to different things um, in this particular case that's why I haven't really seen anything else going on so if y'all have anything please let me know because if not I'm gonna be googling some stuff I live in space. Oh yeah, so tell me, what's going on in space then? What's going on outside there in the Milky Way? Please let me know. While I'm over here, let's see. Let's see if there's any other news updates of anything, current events, y'all. But yeah, while you're in the comments, please tell me, um, what's the word? How y'all feeling? So we got current events in the world the destination the model is wisdom over nonsense while gaining outcomes and lessons never angering getting goals accomplished y'all mercury's in retrograde that as well i'm not i'm not very aware to what that you know really means i know on any given day too that different planets have an effect on earth as well as different celestial bodies but i'm not very deep into the to the knowledge of retrograde and a lot of astrology so you gotta let me know chris 
You gotta let me know what that means in retrograde. But let's see. Um. Yeah, not really much. I mean, the only other thing I see right now in Europe is the the Pope. The Pope ended up endorsing um, civil union laws for same-sex couples. I see that going on, and this is on CNN. I'm just looking around right now. As well as the same thing, like I said, about Nigeria still going on with that. And it looks like, too, right now, it says the U.S. and Russia appear to edge towards extension of nuclear treaty. So we still got, we have that going on as well, too. That's going on in midst of all of this with the election and CV and, and lockdown of different nature. We also have still treaties being reestablished. But other than that, that's all, I, that's all I'm seeing right now. For, for news so we can go ahead and we can move to the next topic now move to the next topic y'all MC Zero in the building what's up brother welcome what's the word Wednesdays but in your particular case it's Thursday <laughs> so with this case, y'all, speaking on generational wealth, which shout out to Chris for the topic idea again, always holding it down. When we think of generational wealth, y'all tell me what do you think of when you hear the word generational wealth? Because when I hear the word generational wealth, of course, the first thing that I hear of, of course, is being able to pass down an estate or money or any type of property down to your children, offspring, or just anybody, basically almost as an inheritance. But in the, in the, in the sense of that's going to help improve and better your next generation's life. That's why generation no. It's just not only for one generation, but it's generation no wealth. And wealth in a sense of not only just money, but also resources. Wealth in different, I said again, different, different resources. But really also within in the health aspect too, being wealthy within health. So having the natural means to be able to take care of your health as well as be able to financially do almost about anything you want. Whether that is going further off, not going further, but yeah, really living anywhere you want to live, traveling where you want to travel. Maybe not during right now because of everything right now. There's few places, but it gives you a lot more breathing room and a lot more playing room to really explore this world and be able to do more with what this life can give you if you do if you didn't have anything wealth wise yes passive income so that's a that's that's a thing that a lot of wealthy people i'm not going to just say rich cuz i could hit the lotto and end up getting 50 million and I could be rich but it's just it's the for me the difference between rich and wealthy for me is that when you're rich you just have a lot of money but when you're wealthy it's the way how you spend and utilize that money to keep accumulating even more money and more things and resources so when I think of rich and wealthy I think of wealthy more so and it is a more long-term thing and being rich is a short-term thing 
Because like I said, I could just hit the lotto, 50 million, probably a majority of that is going to come out of tax wise. So I'm probably only going to get maybe if a, if a third, not a third, but three, not even half, maybe one, one fourth of that can be taken away. And I take the other percentage of whatever is left from that. But that can be spent so quickly if you don't have the acumen and the the right mind to be able to use it. So that's why I say being rich is really just the, having the money short term and being wealthy is more so long term and having the other resources and the right mind to be able to invest more into accumulating more. That's why you don't say when people say I'm accumulating wealth, you don't hear people say I'm accumulating rich. They might say rich is, but wealth, rich, y'all let me know. But when it comes to generational wealth, why is this, why is this important to even speak on? Why should we worry about generational wealth? What's the reason we should leave stuff? When should it be done and how should we accomplish those things? I was I was looking up an article because I was I was trying to get at least some backup information to give y'all. So sometimes I just be flowing and flowing with what I be be speaking on, and it be like, "Well, where's the facts? Where's the data? Give me some information. Just don't be saying it out your mouth." Um, but as I was looking it up, you know. I, I did it real quickly, so that means I haven't got to really get deeper into it. But when it comes to generational wealth, I mean, there's the whole thing of the 99% and that 1% and how it is very disproportional when it comes to wealth in a racial aspect specifically. But not ex only. We speak about wealth when it comes to race, because I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complicate it too much. But when it comes to different races, um, there's a there's a huge huge difference in how much one household makes versus is able to on average have to the dollar a hundred dollars versus other races and families i what i don't have i don't have those numbers at the point right now but i know specifically for on um, black black folks especially speaking just from my own experience we we have close to like not even i don't even know if it's 10 cents to the dollar or some of some sort i'm just trying to recollect from the top but it's very troublesome as well as it's an issue and a lot of a lot of the reason why that is the case is not only because of where we're at and who we are as um, a people but it's all of the knowledge and the information that we are given so we're not really told much to invest how to really gain you know wealth due to our circumstances so then you wonder why we don't have a certain amount of money that we have and we're not able to really pass on wealth to our um not only our offspring but off to our kids and generations on and on but what's up brother how you doing my g peace and love as well as what's the word and happy belated birthday appreciate you much love i saw everybody call man first and foremost that's the word it's my birthday week you feel me we about to turn up we going stupid I actually got some cool birthday gifts today. I'm gonna rock out this Saturday with. Um, yeah, man. I appreciate you. I did see your call, man. I did, and I saw your message, man. I saw everybody. So appreciate the love from everybody. Well, you did. I know you needed to to get your your chilling on as well as you do you. I was just really ducked off. I was not. I was really just ducked off, like dead ass, no cap. 
like I really just disconnected after I got off like out of my work and meetings. I just disconnected. Yeah. For sure. All right, G. What now you tell friend, me what because you over here with your whole <laughs> over here. What's up? Now you tell me, G. You know what's the word on generational wealth? What does that mean to you, bro? What you mean when you say generational wealth? Like as far as like our generation or past generations? Oh, I'm talking about when you hear the word. You tell me, bro. What is like, that? What does it mean to me? It, I mean, I feel like that's it is what it is. Like it is what it says. It is generational wealth, like the wealth of certain people in that generation. Interesting. Like wealth, not necessarily just having the connections to do the things that you need to do as far as like staying healthy, because that's what I relate with wealth. Wealth means if you get sick, you can take care of it. Yeah. You know, uh, things like that. If your car breaks down, you can take care of it. Things like that. You feel me? So yeah, that's that's me. Uh, if you say generational wealth, probably like a, a lot of people in this generation don't have that. You feel me? Like they don't they don't know how to secure that for themselves. So mm. okay, yeah, no, I I I definitely agree with you. On a few a few points when it comes to to generational wealth, I was I was speaking on the aspect of how there's a certain few of you know people that are able to have not only a good amount of money but like you said with health too, but different resources that they can pass on. Right. Generational. Oh, so it, what, it really what's, it really what's wasn't up, just only just like one particular like generation. Since we're in the now, right now, we're speaking on you know our generation and how we can pass it on not we can we can go back and talk about the past of generational wealth i can talk about you know those you didn't even happy the birthday, past. Chris. but yeah so chris didn't tell me happy birthday this fool i was the birthday we still celebrating this guy She said, "I know." I'm dead. But yeah, G, that's what I—that's really more so what I'm speaking on when it comes to generational wealth. Now, how do you, how do you think we can we can get to that generational wealth? How can we get to that? I feel like, especially with the platform that I'm using right now, that's the easiest way to get to that 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 generational wealth that everybody seeks. Like Which is speak. what? Like doing what I'm doing, like as far as like just the currency, like yo, that's literally the easiest way to be honest. Like we make money in minutes. Like we literally make money in minutes. So I feel like that's the easiest way to make some money right now and get to that wealth status that you want to be on. <clears throat> Now you care to listen to I feel that. I agree. It's like finding. It's definitely finding. You know, different. What's up, brother? How you doing, brother? Hey, we, hold on, real quick. Hey, hey, we working out to uh, this Saturday, Josh. If you gonna be out here, we working out, fam. We're gonna be out there at seven thirty. If you want to come work out with us. But yeah, I, I I definitely see that too as like finding different platforms to be able to make especially passive income. Yeah, like we make a lot of we make a lot of income based off of based off of just in minutes, yo. Like really in minutes, and that's amazing. I feel like like nobody else has that platform to make thousands in minutes. Like you work jobs and can't even get thousands in weeks. You feel me? Yeah. And I feel like that's limit limiting us from becoming that 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 wealthy generation. You think is do you think is not only the outlets, but do you think there's also the mindset too? The mindset, but the mindset has the has something to do with the outlets because if we don't like if the opportunity is there. I appreciate it. I just can't. 
<laughs> um, Ella, let me hop on Dallas. Ella, I got some answers too long to type. Not gonna happen. Well, in a minute, just in a minute. Hold on. Um, I feel like like the platform that I have. Some people will see the platform and not go with the platform just because of past generation cycles. They don't. They might not trust it. They might not. You know that. They just, you know, they, like the mindset, like you said, they won't grow out of that, that one, that one, that in the box mindset. You got to be able to go outside the box and unlock your, your full potential. I feel like some people limit themselves. So you right when you say it could be the way that they're thinking, like they can see the way, but mm -hmm. if they don't go good, then, yeah. they, then they're limiting themselves. You feel me? Yeah. That's what I mean. So I feel like that's I feel like that's what that is. Okay. And not only yeah, not only just thinking of just the mindset, is there any other any other aspects that really keep us not only us, but I'm just saying even other other people from accumulating generational wealth besides only the uh, mindset. What's up, Kundin? The what well, that's really that's really it. Like that's all you need. If you got the mindset like I told I don't I think I feel like I did share this with you. But for those who don't know, like I had a chance to meet with Tyrese Gibson when I was younger. And him seeing me when I was like twelve or thirteen, he told me, he said, Yo, you have a million dollar mindset. Don't let nobody take it from you. At the time, I didn't know what the hell that meant. Mm. But as I started to go through life, I understood like, yo, there are really people out here that are trying to stop me and like you know, like, even the things that I've overcame in life, like, you know, just, you know, the struggle and things like that, like, I feel like it's meant for me to do something bigger. So by him saying that and just by life showing me, like, like, yo, okay, bro, you still here for a reason? Yeah. I got to make something happen. I know I got to make something happen. <sighs> I feel that. And I and I think as you were speaking on that too, it made me start putting two and two together. I definitely say that there's there's a lot of different um, variables as well as outside things that do prevent people from also accumulating wealth. And I know part of that can also stem, like we said, from the mindset. I definitely um, know that poverty, you know, the environment where you grow up and live has an aspect to that, but I know your mindset can beat that, depending on how you, you move with that, as well as, you know, the access to different resources and people that can get you there, where you want to end up going. As well as, in some particular ways, there's also going to be different racial boundaries that can prevent yeah. you. Even if you can, you know, but it's there's still that's to but that's done. that's the nine, still gonna be there. I feel like that's the nine to five because in our industry, in our company, the things that we do, we that's all I see is black people elevating, Hispanic people, ele people of color, the my the quote unquote minorities elevating. Like that's all I see. So it's not like we don't got the platforms. Like it's about if we want to go get it. Like if you want it, like you said, if you want to be held under those. You know those those boundaries where you can't get there because of the racial things and because of the other the other things that can stop you from elevating in that business. If yeah. you want to stay there, that's cool. That's your mindset telling you. Like some people are 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 able to say, "Oh, bro, I just get a Toyota. I'll be cool with it." I can never say that to myself. As much as I want to, like I'd be like, "Yo, I can rock with a Honda." But if I go get a Honda, I'm not gonna be happy. Like I'm like, "Damn, I just settled for less." I got you. Yeah. Like, you see what I got. You feel me? Like, you know what I do. Like, I'm like, yo, like, I can't settle for less. Like, my mindset, my, my mindset won't allow me, like, knowing gotcha. what less, knowing what less is, my mindset won't let me settle for less. And I feel like that's powerful. Some people need to understand that. Like, if you come from nothing, you can't settle for nothing. Go for go for the moon, like the stars, like go for everything. You feel me? Mm. <sighs> I'm with that. So on that note, if Chris wanna still jump in here, I'm gonna let her get her little time in. 
I don't know how long you've been on here, but I'm gonna let her get her little time in and I'm gonna do my little thing. So all right, do what you gotta do, G. Always appreciate you coming in and supporting my brother. Y'all don't always. know this is the brother Dallas. Follow him if you're not following him. You know, tap in if you want to learn a lot more too when it comes to what he does to get his his wealth. But right. other than that, thank you, brother, again. Much love, peace man. Love. Appreciate you. Appreciate you having me on here, man. Fam, peace and love, man. All right, I see you, G. All right. Now we know it. All right, let's go in here with the the unofficial um, co-host. Chris is in the building, y'all. Hey, Calvin. How are you Hi, doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I learned so much this weekend and mm. I okay so what kind of stood out I'm happy you're doing the gener generational wealth one like tonight because it just yep. kind of like it somewhat completes my week like it all it, it's intertwined like that was the, mm. the end of the sentence so what I was able to take away from what I learned um there is a discrepancy in understanding um, the different classes. So when, people, when they are um, shouting out like, oh, you know, tax the rich, the rich, the rich. Yeah. Oh, who are they talking about? Most of the times it's like the higher, you know, billionaires and stuff like that. Yeah. Think that. But what does it really actually mean to be rich in this country? Yes. Yeah, just based off of like the base number of where you're considered rich is like six figure. So yeah. if you're six figure, you're in that class, that category of the one of the one percent, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so of course there's that discrepancy because is that real realistically? Is that it's comfortable living, right? But it's like what uh, fifty thousand more than what is our considered middle class, which is like mm -hmm. a lot, bear with me, which it is a lot, but it yeah. is also closer than you think, you know what I mean? So we're not fighting, we're thinking mentally, we're fighting, you know, Jeff Bezos and other people like that. We think like, yeah, tax the rich, we're talking about you, you, but they make up such a small amount. It's a, it's a wider amount of people. Yes. The 1% is actually pretty. It sounds good, right? 1% sounds real small. <laughs> but it's not really. It varies. You know what I mean? So that was something that blew my mind. It's like a flip. It's almost right. like as in we are the 1% and the flip is almost 99 because the wealth, if you get what I mean, mm -hmm. in that sense. So it's like it's definitely like that's one thing that's changed my mind. It is attainable. You know, it's not like too crazy. It is yeah. attainable depending on career path, what you put into it. Like Dallas said, willpower. That's yeah. very strong. That's a very strong thing. So I've just been, that's what I've been like reflecting on this week, right? And then so now you're talking about generational wealth, ways that we can um, obtain it for ourselves. Indiv yes. uh, individually, we've worked for different companies. Yeah. Um, and it's like middle class people, working class. We work for these different companies, and some of us, some of them give us benefits. Like, I was at one big coffee brand, <laughs> and so <laughs> I have, you know, I have benefits. Whether I know how they work or not, there is something there for me. This yes. is my lesson, my personal, personal lesson for the week, too. I'll share that. I have to go through all those letters I was getting mm. and get them together so that I can get what's mine. Yes. Because anything that was contributed out of my check put an account for me, right? And it's mine. You gotta, that's why they sent us the papers. We got to figure out how to go get stuff that is in reserve for us, right? Mm -hmm. So stocks, bonds, all those kind of things that if we work for a company that gives those things, yes, a lot of us just quit the job, move on, right? <laughs> and we don't look back. You know, it's crazy. Sorry, I'm having like epiphany like week this is great okay. like the, keep it, keep it going but are, flowing. That's but, what are this you, is for. but are you following where i'm going with this yeah because then are there's another mo there's multiple modes not just only that exactly. one but continue 
and that's something let's say they give you stock you can then now learn about use that and learn about passive income stock markets you know yeah putting putting stock in money that's accumulating interest that you don't touch that's like literally your play money and it's tax free I have to look into that because actually um, I learned about what is and what's not. So I have to double check that. But um, I think I think if, if it, you do. Uh, if, it if it accrues interest, I think the interest is taxable. So it just depends on some things. It just it, depends. It depends. See, I have to learn the game still. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's like, anyways. So that's something that's given to us. And then it's there for us to utilize. We need to learn how to utilize that tool. That's number one mm -hmm. step of how to get there that's that's step one utilize things that are given to us that we're probably not aware or don't know much about learn it find out about it yeah. that's, the first, that's the first step once you have once you're able to accumulate some kind of like passive income then you're good you're good in that sense that starts the generational wealth that's mm -hmm. when you, start, you have that to pass it down you know because it is it's just sitting there in an account and you can name people who you want to have access to accounts, you know, just like your regular bank account, you know, you can, you can be like, okay, it's, this is join, this is split, blah, 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 blah. But it's, it's yours. It's in your name until you sign it over to somebody else's name. Right. Yeah. That's, that's just like finances. We need to learn the financial game. Yeah. That's, that's where it starts for us. Financial. We're literacy. behind, we're behind in that because it's not com. It's unfortunately, it's not common knowledge, and I don't know why it's such a. It's so hidden, like you it's, can find it, but it, I don't understand why it's hidden. It's in plain sight, but it's like that door that is, is obviously closed for us. You know what I mean? But that's a tactic, though, and in the way that we've been trained, not only. Is black people, but B I P O C S. There's there's certain boundaries that we have been told that you should not be walking or going that way because of the fact that only a few can go that way. But if more than a few go that way, mm -hmm. then that's where things will ensue to be more of a problem. And then mm -hmm. it's more so like you're going to have to show loyalty to the side that you're moving towards and not coming back, you know, and being able to apply and give out the wisdom to your people. So what I'm basically saying, I know I'm speaking in code, but basically I'm saying, so yeah, for example... For example, basically people leaving from the hood and going into the burbs, suburbs or wherever they go and mm -hmm. not being um, cognizant of going back and being able to give the community in a way of it don't even have to always be money. It can just be yeah. information and resources and just be able to, you know, slowly lift people up and maybe take them under the wing, make a nonprofit to, you know, show and teach different um workshops on financial literacy maybe how to really do your you know income tax and honestly other methods of po um, passive income not only just within the stock market i mean one of the one of the other smallest ones that you can also get yourself into that a lot of people watch on the daily is youtube youtube mm -hmm. is another form of passive income you throw up some videos you know, it's going to take, I mean, that one is you take, it takes a while to, you know, gradually be able to get that. But that's the very same thing with investing. Like, that's the, that's just another way of doing that on YouTube. Because I'm not going to be able to already get, already off of maybe 10, 20, um, a million views and already start making that type of money. No, right. it's going to take a couple of years as yeah. well as being able to study trends and study what videos and what people are really looking forward when it comes to information and entertainment and supply that. And right. that, like I said, it's very similar that you can do that with investing is because you're going to, you got to study the trends. You got to figure out what people are buying or selling, what right. companies are actually 
really selling really good stock and you know that it's going to end up exploding up if you invest now. So really, you know, YouTube is, a, is another form of that that I know. You can also... You can also write blogs is another thing that I heard that you can do too. So basically doing some type of online, Writer. you know, writing and literally the more people come clicking view the website, the more money and revenue is put that way. You have ad revenue from just sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I know, I know Amazon does one. I forgot it. Amazon affiliate. Like literally if you are making videos, are you able to, get traction to somebody's product on Amazon, you get a small commission for that. I mean, that's another form as well as writing books and eBooks. That's another thing, be able to put that out. There's very, there's very easy steps to be able to do that very quickly, put it out on Amazon, put it out on any other different type of platforms to have that there and the book will always not you know as long as you don't want to end up taking it down it will be there and you'll have another source so my thing my thing is and i'm gonna throw it back to you if we can get that because i know the connection is going back and forth right now but what i want to end up adding on to that is do you think that it is important to have more than one outlet to be able to grow income because we always talk about being able to diversify and is, have that, is it important to have backing. what is it important to have oh yeah that's the goal streams? oh yeah that's the goal you want to have that you definitely want to have that Because if you don't, I'm sorry. you'll catch yourself in a situation. Yeah, no, you're good. Are you'll catch in yourself in a situation where you're relying on just one thing, which that's what's going on with a lot of people now, is that we're only relying on one check to be able to pay for everything and all that we get. So we put ourselves within a hole that we're not even able to get ourselves out what? of because of the fact that we rely on just one means of income not other ones i'm um, trying to come back in so i just threw that out there because i mean it's an obvious answer of course you want to definitely have multiple places where you are getting income and being able to have that income so that you can create a way for you to build from that to have more and be able to produce and distribute even more you don't just only want to just be working your nine to five you want to work the nine to five but then also have some money in one area and then also go towards your passion in another area that you're working on but using that nine to five which this is very common well say common knowledge yep. but using that nine to five to be able to build multiple other streams because <laughs> Like you have seen, not only you, Chris, but everybody that's watching now and even will be watching later, you can see how quickly things can change within the world very quickly. Mm -hmm. Job, you can just end up being fired at any no, moment. Man. They have it on there when you, when you sign off on your contract. It says that you can end up being fired at any of the moment's notice without any reason to even be told. So with at any moment, you cannot end up having a job. And if that's the only means that you have of making money, that's where the stress comes in. That's where the downward spiral things happen. So setting yourself up to be able, be able to have multiple streams and multiple places to pull uh, money from is, is going to be that step to help you keep creating that greater wealth not only for yourself but be able to pass down generationally and being able to pass down that information and knowledge because i noticed that's one thing too that we have a we have a hard time always right. doing too is that's being well. able to um each one teach one is really pass that down and more so we're we're willing to pass down a lot of other I'm not gonna say you know but i'll say trivial things when it comes to 
how we celebrate things, how much money should we should be spending, you know, what entertainments that we should be watching and getting into versus doing things of looking up how to invest, being in um, literacy, um, financial literacy classes, man, taking one day out of the strength to be able to just do research on how to even build your credit and how to even use credit to your advantage to also be able to take money out and then invest in either. I know a lot of us are not business minded and we're not all entrepreneurs. I get that, but you can still move with that type of mindset in whatever you are doing. But that's one thing is that we're, we're lacking again. I bring it back up the mindset. So being that's that mindset down of that you can get to more and these are the resources that you can use but now it's up to you it's at your disposal to be able to do so they ask me what's your name do it casually i'm advis keep it printing like a fax machine so you yeah anything else you want to add on generational wealth that's just where that's that's the gap that I see or, you know, this that was brought to my attention this weekend. And that's kind of what I'm going to be personally working on in the next couple of days. And then I like what you said about multiple streams of revenue. I know I lagged out and I wasn't able yeah. <laughs> to be here, but like, no, that's, I am finally back. I told you about the hard drive situation, yes, you were right? Able to... I thought I lost all yep. my life. And I was able to find, like, well, okay, so the files that I found were really good. And it's, like, happy news because that's the stuff I needed for my personal yeah. project. My life's work, life's project, which is, you know, ShutterGirls.LA. Sometimes I come in here. Um, I use our Instagram to watch your videos. ShutterGirls.LA. ShutterGirls with a Z. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like that's my future goal. That's something I want to build. I know I'm not gonna like see it anytime soon. Like, at, at its like brand is, is probably gonna be my next generation, but that's what I'm trying to leave mm. at, is a mark, is yep. a spot where it's like she came up with this safe space so that we can go. No question, I'll rock it every time. Uh, they trying to kill you out. Where we could band together and. Mm hmm. And she was on a roll, y'all. I'm going to come back. Got to get her back in here. But see, now she's, she's speaking now on how yeah. being able to leave that. Now we're getting into the next topic, which it pairs together so well, which is now, you know, why or what, what does it mean when it comes to leaving a legacy? Because you were getting right into it because they're, they're paired all together. If you look up the words generational wealth, you're going to get close to the word legacy because it's very, it's very much paired together it's very it's synonymous so continue because of instagram wanting to cut well but go well it's just basically my whole like the mission the mission statement is just to have a safe space for mm -hmm. women of color to come together and build community network and like just share with each other it's a healing space too because that's that's my personal touch to it it's yeah. not just a place where we network, but it's going to provide healing. And some, that's the higher purpose. That is the higher purpose of this. So you have your mission yes. statement, which is your purpose. Higher yes. purpose, heal. This is a space, I mean, no nonsense. I already got down the the code of conduct. Yes. I kind of already had that laid out. That was like one of the first things I went over with my board, um, which are like a group of my friends that helped me bring this together. And um, they all have a spot because eventually I want it to be, a, I know this is a scary word, but it's only in the terms of like how you handle the, um, how you handle the stru the business structure. I want it to eventually yes. be a, a corp incorporation. Yeah. Because the corporations are board built or board. I don't want, I'm not doing this for me to like 
make personal money off of. I want the it's made out of it to go to the people, the board, to go back into the business itself. So eventually, and that's down the road. Yeah, we're talking long-term goals. That's that's at that point. Right now, it's just the community. Right now, we're using the internet. It's a very dark yeah. space. It's very negative. Yes. Very, very. I want to have a spot of light. I would like this. You come to this page. This, this is gonna break the darkness chain. You're scrolling. You're scrolling. You're dark, 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 dark. Oh, look at this. This is nice. This radiates joy. This yes. Is sunshine. I feel good looking at this. That's that, that's my that's my short term. That's the goal right now. Make people mm. feel good. Bring up, uplift the internet and through and do it through the story of women of color. Simple. Beautiful. <laughs> Simple. Got to. That's all we, we definitely got to. Right now, it is, there's a need for constant balance. It's the, the world, everything that you're noticing around, even on social media, There, it's, it's definitely very one-sided. You can say toxic, you can say, you know, I was going to say, not say evil, but for lack of better words, it's just not, it's not helpful. It, it does a lot more harm than it does good. And you have to really, like you said, scroll to really find those, those, those nuggets of not only, you know, love, but just those nuggets of like, the light, happy, light. it's on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Those nuggets of light. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but when it comes to the part of, you know, what does um, leaving a legacy mean, it, 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 it just ties itself back into you want to build something up at the end of the day that, one, in a selfish way, yes, it's going to happen that you're going to be remembered for doing that. But then at the same time, it's something you want to build up that is going to be able to be a beacon of not only light, but remembrance of your purpose and your mission of what you did in life. So, yeah, like you're saying, in your particular case, later on down the line, the long-term goal with um, Shutter Girls, with a C, um, for that to be able to be your thing. And that's where people and all of us, those watching now and later, that's that's another thing that we got to take time to really look into. It's not only trying to figure out that purpose and wanting to know what that is, but really is what do you really want to leave behind at the end of the day? Um, do you want to leave behind a legacy of turmoil and nothingness, no disrespect of nothingness, but I'm being truthful. Or do you want to be able to leave a legacy mm -hmm. behind that one that you can be proud of, one that can be very memorable, one that will inspire and make other people aspire to get be even greater, whether it was that one thing of like, oh, he would always end up doing um, shows on a, on a Sunday where he would go to the park and he would just have a group of people around just talking about how to heal mm -hmm. oneself. Or you can have exactly. a girl, another person, you know, speaking on, you know, how to fix your credit or that one person who was just a really good coach just to show you everything. And they've done that with so many people in their life that it got to a point where you've not only affected and impacted one person. But when you impact that one person and they take that and run with it, it continues mm -hmm. to just impact more and more people. So is that how you want to have your legacy be? Impact somebody else. Yes. Or do you want to have your legacy be something completely different where it just asking stops me. at you? Oh, I was like, are you asking me? Like you, I was playing. No, I was adding more. I was yeah. adding more to it. That's a see then. If it's not to you, that's not a legacy. Yep. Because <laughs> if you want to really think about it, too, I'm going to throw another word in there that comes up. Lineage. When you think of lineage, too, it's a line of decades of people. 
So within that lineage too, you leave them behind a legacy. And a lineage stops when nothing else is passed down. So can you really say that you have a legacy when it stops at you? Like you said, no. So you want to, everyone, you just be mindful of really at the end of the day, I know where there's a lot of distractions no. around and no. there's, a lot no. of, there's a lot of issues and there's a lot of challenges that we go through every day. But we got to remind ourselves when we get up, what is that why? What is that purpose? What is that mission that we have in life? And how are we going to build on top of that to continue to equate and get more and leave behind a great legacy? Hey, Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Welcome to What's the Word Wednesdays. You got five. <laughs> That's my cousin. Left, but thank you for coming in. That's my though, cousin. Always. I got five more minutes. Okay. Yes. We all got five more minutes together. You got you got some more stuff you want to throw in there? Please do. Line age. Exactly, Colton. Exactly. Yeah. That's how we break the words down. Definitely to I Mr. Hatley. Because I know Mr. line Reed. age is a line of the age. Because since we work on timelines, is that age within on that line? Words are spells, y'all. It depends on how you spell it. All right, come back up in here. They're alive. Yes, it still is. But, Sean, it's been very dope so far. I appreciate everyone that has been in here been giving back and throwing down in the comments because this is what it's all about at the end of the day one of the main reasons why i also created and wanted to start doing this too was because of the fact that i wanted to communicate and i wanted to end up getting into really adding more back not only to the community but yes the people that are also supporting me so i wanted to make this a platform where we can talk about things of this nature and different topics so then we can end up having more to talk about as well as being able to have more to learn at the same time so i see she's popping back and forth right now still having um issues I probably might also look like a block person right now. I might look like Steve from Minecraft right now or Roblox. I don't know. Y'all tell me how well the, the clear or the vision is looking. But we are getting close down to the end. There's only two more minutes back and two minutes left. And then we're going to be moving over to, to the after show. I got a nice present from, from someone to unbox for all of us to see. So... It's gonna be cool. I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. But we will see. But if anybody has if anybody has anything, it don't like you. It's okay. We're gonna end it right now and I'll open up another another one. We be good. <laughs> but we are winding down. In short, today. We just touched on the topics. We got current events, mostly right now. We got voting, election, as well as the things going on in, in Nigeria. So peace and love to the brothers out there and sisters. Um, the other thing is we spoke about not only legacies, but we spoke about generational wealth and how there's different ways that we can gain to that generational wealth which is being multiple streams of income, whether that be learning how to invest, YouTube, making videos, e-portfolio books, um, ad revenue, and being able to be affiliates. There's so many different ways you can do that. So information is key and finding that knowledge and passing it on is key. And lastly, when it comes to legacies is you got to be able to put in that work and find what that mode and drive is for you because at the end of the day, you got to be impactful. You got to make that change to be able to be, build that legacy further on. And if you don't build anything, it stops at you. But with that, Chris, there's only 15 seconds. You got anything else left to say? 
I'm finally in. But I'll see you in the after show. <laughs> All right. Other than that, y'all, it's been another episode of What's the Word Wednesdays. Thank y'all so much. I've been your brother, Avis. Peace. One love. We out.